Alert, alert, alert. This is Dr. Martin Mungwa, Secretary of State for Communication and IT for the government of this Federal Republic of Southern Cameroon, Sambazonia. Today is Friday, October 25th, 2024. Thank you very much, Pastor Smart, for that uh, amazing report uh, uh, right there. Um, Commander Willie took the, the advantage to explain to us. I will not want to belabor the point, but uh, maybe, Barista Fru, you want to react briefly because we have a report. We should be handing the mic to those at the Zoom meeting any moment from now. We have a report uh, that again helps to affirm the cruelty of Cameroon on the ground. And this has to do with the way media personal personalities are being treated. Mr. Fu, please talk to us very quickly. I don't know why why our people, the funds, they call themselves the funds and chiefs. I don't know why they are not reading the handwriting, the hand the handwriting on the on the, the handwriting on the uh, on, on the board. Even with the dying or already dead Mr. Beer, our phones are still trying to coerce our people to go and watch a documentary on him. What is the catch? For that reason, nobody, nobody should climb that hill to Bamenda Station that is going to watch a documentary or in any other SDO in all the counties that have been listed. Or any other SDO in, in Amazonia. What, what, I don't know what these people, I don't know what has been, 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 what has happened to our people, our traditional rulers. It's, a, it's, it's rather too sad. It's sad because we used to respect traditional rulers but not anymore. They are they, they have they have shown us their limits. They have shown us their limits. Therefore, Ambazonians, you you respect the the, the the lockdown for today, or you get the consequences because we are not joking. We are in a situation where we don't need to joke anymore. That is all I have to add, and I'm calling on all our people both in america in europe and in the in, in the in the greater america like south america and canada please let your name be written in that book of the transition transition draft because we have yeah, gotten well, to a level to where we need to go that'll be our closing note but um uh, dr lobati please talk to us very briefly what do you what would you have to say about the conduct of the chiefs who yep. happen to be functioning as auxiliaries of the colonial administration and the people they are supposed to protect stand for they are seemingly betraying in fact they are the masterminds or the forerunners Correct. of every colonial activity and betrayal happening on the ground the phone who called this meeting is Kevin. I just want to call him by his first name. He's the son of uh, Fon Fossi Yakumto, who used to be a governor. Um, <laughs> always when I went back home, you know, I've stayed out for a long time. I lived in Germany for 10 years. I've been down in the United States for 31 years. So over 40 years I've lived abroad. Always when I went home, I sought audience with my own local chief and sat down with him and spoke. He's the one who put that title on Paul Bia called Fon of Fons. Uh, he used to pride himself that he was a midwife of the uh, CPDM. And uh, by the grace of God, he would have time with me and we would speak for quite some time, several hours. And we talked about this and I told him, I said, see, Fon, you, you are the Fon because of the people. And you cannot be following somebody in the bush because as far as I'm concerned, Vomeka is in the bush. You cannot be following somebody in the bush and then get separated from your people because without the people you're no longer a fund basically these funds uh, if they followed yaoundé and beer and the french and separate themselves from the people they will lose what they think is their position and the people will throw them out and with time 
you will not hear about them. That is what it's going to be. It doesn't matter what they think. They have been bribed. For, uh, Kevin went to Enam and has a position as an administrator civil. That position that they give you when you become a DO or something like that. So we know who he is. He's younger than we are. But he doesn't know what he's doing. He's just uh, calling people for his own small bread and sardine. Let us not be worried. The, the, the funds who are following them will lose their position. The credible ones that are with their people will stay and uh, be respected. That's what I would say. Um, Commander Willie, do you have a reaction to that, please? Yes. Um, actually, I will suggest something uh, to all Ambazonians all across the world. Um, to make our funds have the respect that they deserve, uh, we should put them on salary. Cameroon government have put the, the, the funds on salary, what they call category one, category two, category three. For example, when Bali people, they have meeting in America all over the world, they can now say, okay, our fund can put on a salary where they pay him, a, let me say, 100,000 100, a month. As simple as that. That way the fund will not be taking order from Yaoundé. He's taking it because of hunger. So if if Manu people the same, if they have chief, they have a Manu Paramount chief, if they can put him on the salary, Manu people can put him on the because they have all these Nyangwe groups, they have all these uh, Ejakam groups, they have all these uh, Banso groups. When they, they can sit there and, and, and decide, say, let's put our uh, uh, salary. Uh, uh, <laughs> Com Commander Willie, are you saying that these funds are acting the way they're acting because of hunger? Yes. So how, head, how will the funds be their fathers? making money because they have a lot of authority there are a lot of dues that are paid the traditional council and all of this money they have free land they have a lot to do especially in mancon where i was born and raised the phone is naturally rich they don't need a government to make money i just think it's greed not because they really love and even if the phones themselves talk to their people because of the way we respect our funds if they tell their people that you need to be donating this amount of money, Mancon, where I grew up, and Guafo, I grew up to see. One of my stepmother is the is a daughter of, of Guafo. It is not possible for him to speak and the people don't give. So I just think it's way more than people now giving them salary. That that's my opinion anyway. Um, maybe we should we should move forward. But like Barista uh, Fru said, we should respect some of the things you say if those who are listening to us in diaspora if you want to start paying your funds and chiefs let's see if that will help them